Welcome everyone to this week's Poetry Club and I've got a few more poems for you. These are kind of varied so I hope you like them. Um, the first one is called Rhyme Time and it was written February 10th 1998. There is a certain rhythm to the smooth flow of words when composing poetry that has a perfect rhyme. Prose poetry is something that we all have heard, but now poems that rhyme are on the uphill climb. It isn't always easy to find the perfect term. Sometimes the ones that rhyme you cannot find a use. Then you attempt to change the word, you flustered squirm. Leaving it alone can help put out a short fuse. To be able to portray to the reader the gist, of the message that the poet has deep within may seem effortless as breathing is to exist. It fulfills a need inside like the athlete who wins. And I do find that it's, it's really hard to write a poem unless you're feeling inspired. So. Go on with the next one and that one's called Common Sense and it was written April 1st 1998 and no it wasn't an April Fool. Common sense has never been my strongest point. Being teased about things puts my nose out of joint. I've always walked around with my head in the clouds sticking out like a sore thumb when I'm in a crowd. Books, music and travel mean all the world to me. If I didn't have them, I don't know where I'd be. It seems to be my way to cope with what life hands out. Now writing poetry helps my soul sing and shout. They say experience and age gives wisdom to all. But to get to that point, time surely does crawl. The physical body ages and the time goes by. May I use my time well before I say goodbye. Okay. The next one is called To Write or Not to Write, and it was written April 20th, 1997. And no, I'm not trying to be Shakespeare, but here we go. Arm yourself with a sharpened pencil or pen. Together with paper, it's time to begin. Fill that page with continuous dots and scrawl. It's amazing if anyone can read it at all. Words trickle out slowly, some crossed out near the end. Sometimes it's best to start all over again. Occasionally the words flow, not needing a change. Why it doesn't always happen, I find it strange. You must not settle for just any old word. There must be rhythm and rhyme that must be heard. When you try to force writing when the time's not right, you may find yourself sleepless for half the night. Sometimes it takes days or weeks to write a good poem. Inspiration can arrive at work or at home. The key is to write whenever you feel the urge. Open your mind and let pen and ideas merge. My next one's a little bit about music. So it was written April 5th, 1997, and it was called A Musical Beat. If a visitor from another planet came to Earth, and was able to speak to us for what it's worth. What is that sound coming from that electric box? It seems to have rhythm like a series of knocks. We human beings discovered music centuries ago, but to describe it to strangers wouldn't be easy, you know. Music has two major components, lyrics and musical score, adding rhythm, bass and treble, and so much more. Songs can recount history from times long, long ago, 
or events happening now via television and radio. But for the most part, songs create a state of mind. Songs of unrequited love are not very hard to find. Love seems to be the universal word for many songs. For one person or for the world to right all wrongs. A steady beat that touches people down to their very souls. A bit of heaven, be it classical country or rock and roll. final poem, it's entitled The Heat Wave of the Fall of 97. It doesn't have a date, but I assume it was 1997. It has been a most wondrous autumn this year of 97, the middle of November, no snow. It's like a bit of heaven. Most of the birds took their leave in search of a warm retreat. The many pumpkin-colored hunters find it hard to locate meat. We observe the hours of daylight are lessening as time progresses. Many old-timers remember few warm falls like this nevertheless. El Nino, El, Ni El Nino, we are told, is behind the odd weather that we have now. It certainly makes the arrival of winter easier to accept, somehow. All the stores are filled with Christmas reminders and music everywhere, but most people just can't catch the spirit. Is it here or is it there? Ah, here comes the snowflakes to cover all the drab gray and brown. The spirit of Christmas makes its arrival again to our little town. Well, I hope you enjoyed those poems. I had enjoyed writing them. So I guess we'll see you next week for the Poetry Club. Take care and stay safe.